Hey friends, happy Friday. Well, I am sitting in the car waiting for Boston to get out of tutoring. He goes to a tutor for his dyslexia and he goes to the Dyslexia Center of Utah. I've been asked that question quite a bit, so I'll leave their info down below. Okay, so I thought I would take a moment and just answer some of your questions from the past like week of vlogs. And I think I'm gonna start doing this more. So I want you to know I read all your comments and uh, I see everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And so I thought I would answer some of your questions. So from the past week, just in the past week, okay. And a lot of times I answer them for you and sometimes I don't get to answering all the questions. Life's busy. So let's get going. These questions are from the fall and Thanksgiving decor, a new recipe, housewife life. One question was, where did we get the picture of Jesus and the kids above our fireplace? Well, that was given to me by my kids this past Christmas and I believe they got it from Costco. Um, out here in Utah, Costco will have um, the certain painter or artist have his display at Costco with all these beautiful paintings. They'll be, you know, mostly around like our LDS faith, there'll be temples and things, but there are pictures of Christ and that one I believe was at Costco. And they're really affordable when they're at Costco. When you see them at Costco, like go look at them because the prices will amaze you. Okay, that was from Trina Winham. But if you would like a picture like it um, and like to have some pictures of Christ, I know you've seen the other big one we used to have up on that wall, um, go to DeseretBook.com or SiegelBook.com. I'll leave the links below. They have an awesome collection of pictures of the Savior and oh my word, I will leave the link. So if you would like something in your home and of course Christmas is coming. Uh, Black Friday, there's gonna be sales. A great time to nab a picture of the Savior and put it in your home. This is from Sweet Mama. Where did you get that awesome fireplace? Love it. Well, thank you. Uh, I get this question a lot. We actually ordered it off of overstock.com. I think we found it through Amazon just after Christmas last year. Um, but it was from Overstock. It's really not the greatest fireplace. When we ordered it and it came, one part was broken, um, like one side was like shredded, it was really weird. It's like fake wood, obviously. But then when we got ordered that new section and when it came, it was shredded again. So something is going on in manufacturing or when they're shipping it that it's getting ruined. We, we fixed it on our own, but it's a beast, but it just adds like the coziness to our home. And I do love it, even though it's kind of crappy. This next set of questions is from the vlog, Friendsgiving Meal Prep Housewife Life. All right, here is a question. The first question that popped up was from Tony Cox, and she asks, along with everybody else in any video that Heather is in, does Heather have a channel? And no, she doesn't. I think it'd be great if she had a channel because Heather is seriously the sweetest thing and she's hilarious. She's just down to earth, like just says how it is and she's just amazing. I love Heather so much. So, nope, she doesn't have a channel, bummer. So from Mrs. Glow Glow 99, um, I get this question asked a lot anytime that my utensil holder is out when I have parties. It's where I put my plates and napkins and um, silverware. Um, I always get asked where it is from and where, where can I find one. I bought that at Costco at Thanksgiving time I believe last year. So check out Costco. I don't know if they still are carrying it. It's just one of those sweet little gems that Costco brings in and then disappears forever. So I purchased it at Costco. Um, this is from Glenda Ruff. Do you always serve water for meals? Um, there's always water. We always have water at meals, but there's other drinks. Um, we'll bring out milk, we'll bring out sparkling ciders, but there's always, always water. Pie night, it's always water. We don't serve anything else with pie night because there's enough sugar in the pies that we just need straight up water. But no matter what we're doing, there is water and some other drink. And I get asked this question all the time, and this is from Happiness12. Smith's the same as Kroger? All the time. Is Smith's the same as Kroger? 
pretty much. It's uh, a Kroger affiliated store. Um, in this video, someone asks what kind of planner is that that I am using to plan out my Thanksgiving. It is the uh, Mom on the Go planner from the Leafy Treetops. And it has every holiday in there with a menu plan to help plan. I'm loving this planner. And yes, I'm doing a review and a code and all that. I'm just finalizing things with in the Leafy Treetops. So stay tuned for that. Okay, this is from Kathy. I'm going to butcher your name. I'm sorry. Kathy Jermack. The Instant Pot. Do the eggs peel better with it? Yeah, way better. I can't believe the night and day difference. So I just will load whatever amount of eggs in my Instant Pot. Then I'll put a cup of water in and cook it for, pressure it for four minutes. Um, and so it'll get to pressure and then it'll cook for four minutes, whatever it does. And then I will just instant release it. And yeah, it does. I will cool them off in an ice bath like shock them in a nice bath right away and then I'll take them out and I'll do a little crack and kind of roll them on my counter and the shell just like comes off I'm telling you I don't know what it is but yes <laughs> yes 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 if you just get the instant pot just for the eggs you'll be a happy gal this is from the Morris family can you use shrimp in the bag because the shrimp in the can I don't know if I could do um there really is no I, you know, I don't know if you could do it in the bag. I mean, you probably could. You'll have to get shrimp that's already cooked or cook up your shrimp, have it cool, and then take your blender, your hand mixer, and just run in a big bowl that to like chop up your shrimp finely. I've never done it, but you probably could. Um, yeah, you'll just have to mix it and shred it and stuff it might be a pain but give it a try see if it'll work but the the if you've never had the canned shrimp before honestly it doesn't taste weird or anything like that maybe give it a shot but if you do make it with a hand mixer and like shred it all up let me know because that's pretty cool all right this is from ambience junkie love having your thanksgiving page as part of your planner not a separate planner do you start off with it in a separate planner then move it to your daily planner can you do a video on your holiday planner pages, including holiday recipes? Thanks. I actually have a holiday planner that I do have a video on that you could check out if you haven't seen. It shows all the pages that I use, the printouts, where I got them from, um, how I like store my recipes in that binder. But then I will just take my planner out and um, like, like this year I'm not hosting Thanksgiving. So I'm not using my holiday planner for Thanksgiving in that sense of like my meal sheet. So I just use my planner and use enrolled it in that section. So, um, so sometimes I'll move it over to my planner, but I'll either pick one. But go check out that binder. That might help you. This is from the Informal Housewife. Do you and Derek drink alcohol? Nope, we don't. I really appreciate you guys and all your comments and questions, but a lot, we as a people, cause I'm guilty of it too, we are so quick to judge, so quick to judge. And quick to judge me and things that are going on in my videos. What you guys have to understand is that you don't know the whole backstory, okay? There's things I don't tell you, there's things I don't explain to you. And like, Laura, your comment here, Laura's home cooking. Okay, why is the other lady sitting on the couch and not helping with like five question marks? Did she eat? She can clean also. Okay, Laura, I understand your observation. I guess that you have a question. But one, that's, to me, okay, I, I know I'm gonna offend a lot of you, but that's such a judgmental thing. My, my friend that you saw sitting there, she did help clean. But then when I took the camera out, she I asked her and I asked everyone in the room, does anyone not want to be filmed? Does not anyone not? I said, I'm, Heather and I are going to start cleaning and make this my Motivational Monday video. They all know I do YouTube. They all accept this and they're okay with it. But my friend that you saw, she didn't want to be in the video. She goes, no, I'm good. I, I'm good. And, um, and I said, okay. And I said, I could blow you out. She goes, I'll, I'll sit down. And I said, great. This was at seriously 11 PM. And I said, friend, you just sit down, relax, 
and we'll get cleaning and I won't put you in the video. And she was like, great. I respected her. We sat there and we talked while we were cleaning. So we had a great time. She did help clean. You just did not see the parts of my friend cleaning. So you guys have to remember that we, we can't be quick to judge people because you don't know the whole story. You're only seeing what I'm editing and putting on there. So I understand your concern because you see us working and cleaning and you know, so I get where you're coming from, but don't be so quick to judge. Uh, Violet Baker asks, um, what will you use the turkey carcass for? I made turkey soup. So um, I have a video on this, I'll link it below. So what I did was I shredded most of the turkey off of it to use in soup later. So I put the turkey carcass in a big stock pot and I covered it with water and I added a whole bunch of different herbs, um, onions, carrots, celery, peppercorns, a whole bunch of things in the pot and I simmered it for about an hour to an hour and a half. Then I strained out the broth and I had yummy, yummy turkey broth. And then I made turkey orzo soup, like my chicken orzo soup. So I do have a video on this and I will link it below and you could see how I started making this. I love it. I do it every time I have um, a turkey. And this is from the, one, the last vlog that I made, Shopping, Cooking, and Savings, Housewife Life. This is from, ooh, I'm gonna butcher your name, Shaweta, oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna butcher your name. She asks, is the, in, the Instant Pot that you use in all your videos, what size is it? Well, the one that you've been seeing in the last, like, couple months is from my eight quart or something like that and the ones that from my instapot play the six quart this question is from Nichelle and she asks, why don't you buy a big jar of minced garlic from Costco it would save you a step from the garlic press I know I have like some sort of block with it no joke like I don't know if it tastes different or if it just wigs me out I don't know but it, I think it wigs me out is that crazy I know I know. Maybe I should just buy a little bottle and give it a shot again, but I don't know. It kind of wigs me out. I don't know. <laughs> it's like canned chicken. I cannot do canned chicken. Okay, this is from, and I can never pronounce this. Oh, Dipas. Oh, DP Estaño. She has been a long time viewer and always leaves comments. Thank you, honey. You are seriously like so sweet. Okay, she says, those cookies look so good. Those cookies look good, right? They were amazing. She says, do you think you could figure out what's in them? What a challenge. I bet you could. And I said, challenge accepted. I'm going to try to find a recipe for those cookies and make them for you because, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They were salty, chocolatey, toffee, yummy goodness. So I'm going to figure it out. Okay, this is from Samantha Riley. Bread question. I notice you buy and make bread. Why? Do you use this for convenience or is there things that are better with store bread and don't work well with home bread? I do both and I like both, but if I don't have time to make homemade bread, I will do store bought bread. I have not used my homemade bread yet for frozen like sandwiches for the kids lunches. Um, I honestly don't know if it'll hold good. And I should just make one sandwich and throw it in the freezer. I know this. You guys have said this to me, but I haven't yet. So there are types of store-bought bread that I use for my frozen sandwiches. It's all convenience at that moment of time. If I have time to make bread that week or for the next two weeks, I'll do it. And I'll even freeze some. But if I don't have time, I'll just buy bread. I do both. It really is a convenience thing. And BJ House, thank you so much for your recipe on the cheese ball. It sounds amazing. I'll definitely have to give that a try. That was so nice of you. And she used to make the um, green onion cheese ball recipe at Harmon's. So thank you. It's so good. I can't wait to try it. All right. That is all the questions for right now. But I thought that would be a fun thing to do to take like a week's worth of questions and just take it in a vlog and answer them for you. So that was a lot of fun. So, okay. How was tutoring, Boston? Good. good. Ready to go back to school? He only misses like the first hour of school for tutoring twice a week. So, and they don't mark it as an absent or tardy. They roll it into his school. So, since he is learning, so it's great. So, yeah. So now I can go home and get ready for the day and look presentable. 
So I'm glad it's in the morning this year and not in the middle of our day. Oh my gosh, so happy. Okay, let's hit the road.